Hello Capricorn, my name is Agatha and this is your oracle reading for the month of October 2017 and I'm going to use the Archangel Gabriel oracle cards and also the Magdalene oracle so Capricorn, let's see how will the month of October 2017 will be for you Capricorn, so I'm shuffling, now I'm going to cut cut the cards and this is your first card now let's go to the second deck with Capricorn October 2017. How will the month will be for you? I'm going to cut and I'm going to pick one card. So let's see. So, so Capricorn, the first card is Vision Board. And it says create a board with images and uh, words that inspire you. And the second card is Divine Order, which is interesting. Uh, so if, if you want something, uh, do this. Create a vision board and put images and words uh, of what you want in your vision board, you know, and focus on your vision board. The second card, Divine Order, is maybe a, a message that you should trust that even if things don't seem to be as they should, that everything is working in divine order, even if you don't see it. Uh, I'm going to read from the guidebooks because I think there's more messages for you there. And I think it's important to give you all the messages. So 55, Vision Board, Capricorn, 55. So uh, this card is a fun divine assignment. It's a fun assignment for you to visualize God's plan for you, okay? If the Capricorns sometimes are very materi material, material, material sort of people, and they're like, they, they believe in what they can see. So visualizing something might not be something that they, they want to do, okay? So a vision board can take many forms, but uh, usually consists of a poster-sized. A uh, firm white black ground background. I'm sorry, on which you glue uh, positive words and in inspiring pictures. Um, you can also, you know, find images uh, on the internet or in magazines, uh, or you can create uh, the the pictures yourself. Anything that helps you inspire, uh, that helps inspire you, is a wonderful addition to your vision board. Uh, so, uh, so any time is perfect for you to create a vision board, and you can continue to add to it uh, as you discover discover you know new inspirations. And you should place your vision board in a place that you can see it all the time, uh, but also in a private location. You know, if you're like very private and it's only visible to you. This is like God's assignment to you. Visualize what uh, you want to uh, happen in your life, and if you have and put what you want on that vision board, okay, and hide it if you if you need to. And then divine order, the little book. What does the guidebook says about divine order? And number twenty-five. The message connected with this card is. Uh, you might be sinking into depression because you believe the world around you is in disarray. Uh, so everything, everything you see on TV is destruction in, in war. In every, the world seems like a very bad place, place to be in. Um, but the message with this card is that everything serves a purpose and has a reason for being and life is like a divine tapestry okay and each thread is vital to the to the overall picture and sometimes the design only makes sense when viewed from a higher perspective believing that things are not the way they should be only serves to keep you disappointed and angry and fearful 
um, divine order is visible through the perspective of love. I'm thinking that maybe, Capricorn, you might be feeling a bit sad and depressed and down. And all the messages that come your way are not very positive messages. So, God has a plan for you. God has a divine assignment for you. And God, or, or the angels, or heaven, or whatever you want to call it, asks you uh, to focus on good and positive things, to make a vision board for you to focus on good, positive things, so as because that will be the way to take you out from this negative point of view. Okay? So that's what I'm thinking. It's more like to help you focus on good, positive things. Okay, Capricorn? So that's it. This is the, the reading that I have for you for October 2017. And I hope you have a great month. Bye-bye.